I'm glad to hear that businesses are doing well, earnings are strong. Uh, yeah, I think that's consistent with uh, continued strong growth. Uh, you know, economists look at GDP, that's the value of all the things that we produce. Uh, that That's up 3% year over year through the second quarter of 2024. <clears throat> things are slowing, obviously. The job market is uh, throttling back, uh, but uh, so far that's mostly by design. The Federal Reserve has been working hard to cool things off to get inflation back in the bottle, and I think they've succeeded. Hopefully they start lowering interest rates here and keep the economy moving forward. But yeah, I think uh, broadly so. I will say, you know, businesses have, certainly large businesses have been doing very, very well. Corporate profitability economy-wide uh, is about as good as it's ever been. I mean, margins are really extraordinary, and then uh, uh, that's obviously, you know, in part what's driving the equity market up to this point in time. Mark, first of all, great to see you. Um, it, it's, it's, I I'm, I'm really appreciate you coming on the, the program. It's been a while since I talked to you. What about the consumer? Um, we had reports yesterday from TripAdvisor mm -hmm. not making as many bookings as people expected. The same was true with Airbnb. Uh, Disney came out this morning and said there's not as much growth at their parks, although people are staying home and you know ordering Disney Plus more often. Um, is the consumer in trouble here? Too much credit card debt from Taylor Swift last season? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> uh, and, and it's good to hear your voice, Matt. Yeah, it's good to be, uh, be on with you. Uh, uh, well, if you take consumers as a whole, you know, the consumer elephant is a, is a big thing, and a lot depends on which part of the elephant you're touching. But if you look at the elephant as a whole, it, it's good. Uh, you know, real consumer spending growth. That's after inflation, consumer spending all in, travel, uh, the things that you've been talking about, uh, what people are spending on streaming, you know, all the things that they're buying for their homes, groceries, everything, up two and a half percent year over year. I mean, uh, that and that's been rock solid, uh, amazingly so, for the last almost two and a half to three years. Uh, and that's kind of right down the strike zone, right? That's exactly what you want to see. That's strong enough growth to keep the economy moving forward, but not too strong uh, to fan those inflationary pressures. Now, if you touch different parts of the elephant, you start getting, you know, a different sense of things. I mean, I do think lower income households are struggling, uh, you know, under the high interest rates uh, and uh, the credit card debt and consumer finance loans they took on back a couple, three years ago when, you know, inflation was raging and they borrowed against their cards uh, to uh, supplement their income to maintain their purchasing power. And now they're, you know, they're, the interest rates are very high. I mean, it, I just saw, saw this the other day. I, I didn't realize that credit card interest rates at 22% are the highest they've ever been in the data that we have from the Federal Reserve. So, you know, that is a, a lot of pressure. And they, those households blew through their excess saving early on, uh, you know, after the pandemic. Uh, so that that part of the uh, consumer elephant is, uh, is soft and weak, and you can kind of hear it and feel it in some of the earnings uh, announcements and what CEOs at the consumer product companies are saying. But uh, high-income households, low in, uh, middle-income households, uh, no problem. They're, they're fine. Just one last thing to say, uh, the folks in the bottom third of the income distribution typically account for about 15% of the spending. The folks in the top third of the distribution account for 55% of the spending. So, you know, I don't think the economy can flourish, and there's all kinds of political and social implications of folks in the bottom part of the distribution are struggling, but the economy can move forward, and, and it is. Now, now I, I don't want to, I just say one last thing and I'll stop. Everything I said is positive, but, it, it, you know, things are weakening. The high interest rates are doing damage. I, I think it's time for the Federal Reserve to start lowering interest rates and lowering them quickly and normalizing rates, and they've been late to the game. They've made a misjudgment here, so they have to get moving. But, you know, at least so far, the, the consumer, the economy is hanging tough.